Okay. No, 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 no. Listen, Frank. No, listen, Frank. You tell McIntyre that we've already sunk six million dollars into this operation. He's got to make it work, and I don't care what the hell Fabianski has to say about it. All right? Okay. Yeah, see you in the office tomorrow morning. All right, bye. How did you get in here? It doesn't matter, Mr. Williams. It's a pity to die in ignorance. Who hired you to kill me? I could be the enemy in my own right. I know the enemies I've made. You're a stranger. Was it my wife? Quite correct. Her motive must be obvious. Yes, I have money, and apparently she wants it. All of it. Your age is? Fifty-three. And your wife is? Twenty-two. You are foolish to expect anything permanent, Mr. Williams. Ah, I expected a divorce after a year or two, and a painful settlement. But not death. Your wife is a beautiful woman, but greedy, Mr. Williams. I'm surprised that you never noticed. Obviously, you've killed before. Yes. And you enjoy it? It's a morbid pleasure, I admit. But I do. You've been for two minutes already, and you still haven't killed me. There is no hurry, Mr. Williams. So it's not the actual killing that is your greatest joy, but you like to savor the moment leading up to it. You have insight, Mr. Williams. And as long as I keep you entertained, in one way or another, I remain alive. With a time limit, of course. Naturally. A uh, drink, Mr... Um... Smith. Requires no strain on the memory. Yes, thank you. But please allow me to see what you are doing when you prepare it. It's hardly likely that I poison on hand for just such an occasion. Hardly likely, but still possible. Where would my wife be at this moment? At the party. Mr. Williams, there will be a thousand people to swear that she never left their sight to walk back to the murder. I'll be uh, killed by a burglar, by an intruder. Yes. After I shoot you, I shall of course wash this glass and return to your liquor cabinet, and when I live, I shall wipe all fingerprints from the elves I touched. And, uh, I'll take a few trinkets to make the story more authentic. That will not be necessary, Mr. Williams. The police will assume that the burglar panicked after he killed you and let them be handed. Okay. 
painting of it in Squall. It was valued at over $75,000. That's a lot of money, Mr. Williams. But I will not risk the extent of the electric chair. Or were you perhaps afraid of me to paint it? In exchange of your life? Was a thought. I'm sorry, Mr. Williams, but once I accept the commission, I'm not dissuaded. It's a matter of professional pride. I can show fear. You will show it. That you killed me. It's a strength, isn't it? To be afraid and not to dare show it. To expect your victims to beg? They do. In one that you are not. And they, uh, they try to appeal to your humanity. That's hopeless. So far it has been, Mr. Williams. Behind that painting, it's a wall safe. Yes. And did it. $50,000 cash. That's all the Did you actually think you could buy your life? No, oh, Mr. Smith, you are, shall we say, incorruptible. But you still got me fifty thousand. All receipts completely useless to you. What do you think that possibly gained you? the opportunity to go to that safe, open it, and put your glass in it. That was yours, not mine! No, that was yours. You couldn't have switched our glasses! I haven't taken my eyes through for a moment! I seem to recall that you looked twice at that picture. Only for a second or two. That was enough. Open that same or I'll kill you! I'd rather think you won't kill me now, Mr. Smith, for obvious reasons. What do you intend to do with the glass? Well, if you won't murder me, and I don't think you will now, I'll have the fingerprints reproduced. Put in an envelope with the other information concerning this situation and have it forwarded to the proper authorities. All that won't be necessary. I will live now and you will never see me again. I prefer my plan. It provides for my future protection. What do you want me to do? Sit down. My wife tell you where she will be right now. Just that she'd be at some place for the other side of the street for her mother. Well, that good, it be quite dark. Did she give you the address? No. Bridgehampton. Thank <laughs> you.
You know it's something that you have to do for your own protection. Well, you have to have it in schools. I'll be at my club, playing cards with a few of my friends, they'll commiserate with me when I get the news that my wife has been shot. It depends on the circumstances of the opportunity. Did you have a lover? I really loved this piece when I first got it. It launched Napoleon. Now it bores me. I'll replace it. Mm -hmm.